What the hell is this? This is our behind the scenes camera crew. And this is our DP, Vilmos Nyquist. What is DP? Director of Photography. Did you just get off the banana boat? I come from the still world. And maybe you should go back. They have a bitching looking camera. Why don't we shoot with that? That doesn't belong to us. That's their camera. What are we shooting with? An iPhone? I don't even have a tripod. Yes. 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 A small iPhone. But this... This is gonna be a big movie. My vision. My vision. I woke up in the night with a vision of making the next Lord of the Rings movie on an iPhone. When are we going to New Zealand? No, no. My vision takes place in Southern California. Thank God. LA is not exactly Middle Earth. Maybe the title of the film will give you the feel of it. What's the title? Golems. Gollum. Golems. American cousin. <laughs> You're joking, right? I want you two to channel the scene from on the waterfront in the car. You're Marlon Brando, you're Rod Steiger. No, no. You're Dustin Hoffman as Tootsie. You're a sexy beefsteak tomato. And I love the gum. We're keeping it. F4, F5, point six. Put a scrim on that light. It's a rehearsal, man. Okay, kids, okay. I want you to, to eat this scene up. Arr! I want you to eat it up. Okay, energy up. And action! Your cousin is flying to America? Yeah, and we have to pick him up at the airport. Uh-huh. Cut! What? What are you doing? I'm texting Gollum. Tell him we're on the way to the airport. He's in the air! You mean he has, like, wings? <gasps> He's in an airplane. Where exactly is he flying from? From Middle Earth, of course. Mm, I'd like to see that airport. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the Marlon Brando thing is working for you. You are a contender. This, mm -mm, not working, not working. Let's try... Morgan Freeman driving Miss Daisy. And, trust me, Action! Your cousin is flying to America? Yeah, we have to pick him up at the airport. And... Cut! Perfect! Print it. It's gold. I'm walking away. It wasn't in the budget, so I paid for the rental, this thing. Damn it! It's broke! <laughs> they have tripods in the still world? They're not all fancy like these! Where's the grip truck?
Vilmos, have I told you my vision? No. Screw 185. I see this film in 235. Cinema freaking scope. All handheld. I want to use Lawrence of Arabia as my template. Can you do that? Yes. I mean, I was disappointed about not going to New Zealand. Who wouldn't want to go on location in New Zealand? But it does make me wonder what the budget of this film is. What's the budget on this movie? Well, I had to bring my own gaffer's tape. What's gaffer's tape? Well, it's tape that the gaffer uses. Who's the gaffer? <laughs> I am. They have lots of sheep in New Zealand, I think. Why isn't this location open? Who's the location manager? I am. I thought you were the gaffer. I have different hats. Then why don't you get us in? The producer said he already paid the owner of this place $25. Dang, you think he can afford it? Yes, I believe in putting the money on the screen. Where's Craft Service? Right behind you. Who's running Craft Service? I am. I thought you were the location manager. I thought you were the gaffer. What, you never heard of a hyphenated filmmaker? Yeah, just not those hyphens. Dude, you got food sitting on the bare table. So I forgot the plates, so sue me. And where are the drinks? Be in that car. Nailed it. Freaking nailed it. Where's me airflex? What do we do now? Punch! Look, I'm trying to produce a movie here, and, and they just told me that I'm supposed to provide lunch, and you want three bucks a plate? <laughs> Hell, man, I could cook up some tasty weenies for substantially less than that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Talk to my assistant, will you? Talk this caterer down, will you? Look, we're not paying three dollars for hot dogs. I can go to Costco and get them for 50 cents, okay? I, I have another call. Hello? Hello? Who the, who the hell is this? Okay, just one moment. Some dude has a major attitude on the phone. His name is Larry or Larry's something like that. Larry's my husband. What? Hello? L lady. Lady, ch lady, can you speak up? I can barely hear you. Hello? Lady, who the hell is this? It's your mother. Mommy? Mommy Nuggums? Mommy Nuggums? Is that your actual mother or is it crack hoe posing as your mommy? Uh, you know, he's... Got a little bit of shine on him. Could we get some makeup on him? Yes, I'm actually thrilled to get the lead in Gollum's American Cousin. The director, Trayvon Martin, is fabulous. Oh, I mean, uh, Trey Martini. You know, he had some of the startup jitters that all movies have. No trailers, uh, no craft service, no equipment, no food, no cameras or lights. 
you, you know, the typical stuff. The actress that I was working with, was, uh, she, you know, she was a great actress. She was great on set. She was very professional. Um, she, she did, uh, you know, yell at me a few times, which was a little annoying. Uh, she was sort of picky about her stage directions and where she wanted to be. She sort of, she, you know, she tried to steal the spotlight at times. And uh, she'd be like, read over my lines and stuff. And she wouldn't really give me, uh, you know, the light that I that I wanted, the light that I needed. I mean, I was the main person. She she's she's not. I mean, she was she thinks she is, and honestly, she was a total bitch. But um, yeah, got a lot of friends. Yeah, no, didn't really have that many relationships. You know, I talked to a few people, made some good friends. Uh, this one guy was actually telling me a really interesting story about how he was on some crazy set. Um, but actually, I sort of just, just dozed off, and I really didn't care. But how would I rate the production? Uh, you know, a 10. Why not? You know, it's going to be actually, you know, probably not a 10. Probably like an 8.5. Um, maybe a 7. Um, 7. Hard 7. A hard 7 for the overall thing. Um, why? Yeah. Ah. That's hard. Are you trying to trick me here, man? What's up? Very pretty lights. You're very pretty. Where did you get those? I handmade every one of these pretty lights. Wow. Wow, you must be really disappointed then. Why would I be disappointed? <laughs> They're very pretty. Uh, they cut the bar scene from the script. I'm sorry. But the good news is, is they added a scene with 500 flying lit Chinese lanterns and fireflies. We're rolling? Okay. So, take one. And what do you do on this movie? I'm the best boy. Oh. <laughs> Are you? What? What? Never mind. Take two. And what is your exact function? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I take things from the set over to the truck, and then from the truck over to the set. Yeah, It's not an easy job. It, some of the things we have to move are pretty heavy. Like the uh, HMI lights, they can weigh up to 200 pounds. Wow. That's heavy, man. And uh, are there any HMIs on this shoot? Oh, God, no. This is the biggest light we have. So why is Gollum hiding? It's too bright outside. Yeah, it's F-11. Uh-uh, more like F-22 now. Sweetie, he's used to living in a dark cave. So I have the ring now. And? Action! Look! Gollum dropped his ring here. I wonder if it's important. It must be. How do I know this is yours? After all, I did find it on the ground here. Oh, that does have an inscription on it. So what does the inscription say? The inscription says, I'll tear your arms off and beat you to death with them if you do not give me my precious. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much right. And that's a cut! <sighs> and a wrap. That's right, I'm also the AD too.
I'm just happy I could bring Gollum's American Gollum. cousin. Gollum's American cousin to the big screen. Yeah, me too. Uh, there were some difficulties. Yeah, nothing we couldn't overcome, though. No, we overcame the cast revolt day one. Yeah, but we did. Crew revolt day two. Why did they revolt? Well, they were just new to the new business model. Yeah, they wanted minimum wage, fewer hours. What was their wage and hours? Well, they were interns, so they were getting paid with opportunity. So they were working for free? Yes. Uh, no. I mean, we weren't charging them for the gaining the invaluable experience. And what about the hours? Look, nobody worked more than 17 hours in any given day. And we gave them a day off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had Christmas off, for God's sakes. <laughs> you think the crew would work for you again? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs>